Hey everybody, what's up? Uh, a YouTube user was having a hard time getting the internet configured on Windows NT4, but this time, this is a video to show you how to get the internet set up. You will have to do a clean install to Windows NT4 doing this. For virtual PC, you want to go to your networking thing right here where I said right click on this little thing right there and you want to go to networking settings and this would come up you want to set make sure it's set to share networking MAT so you could be able to use the internet you know when you're at setup you want to select the, this one right here right where it'll be participating in a network and we will be using a wire network. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to start a little search for the drivers. Now it already detected the driver for the internet. You want to click next. The network protocols we'll be using is TCP slash IP. We go ahead and click continue. And when this comes up, you want to click yes. So I'm going to see you on the next step. Okay. Now after I installed Windows NT and got all the drivers, I typed in Google, you may notice I was able to pull it up without no problem. Without a problem, you see. The wallpaper, yes, it's Halloween. Notice some sites like YouTube are all screwed up because this is Internet Explorer 2.0 you made. And you can't be able to download nothing with Internet Explorer 2. And you will have to upgrade to Service Pack 6. But if if you still not be able to get the internet you want to go to the, go to the control panel network And you want to go to this protocols tab and you're going to go to properties. And I already have it set to put the main adapter and set to obtain it automatically from it. That should be set. So we're going to go ahead and I'm going to install Service Pack 6. Okay, now we're going to go ahead and install Internet Explorer 4 on Windows NT. Hang on a minute, let me pause that. Let me get out of Skype real quick. So, we're going to go ahead and you want to click Next. This is how we're going to, we're going to install this so we can be able to use Internet Explorer 6. I'm going to do a full installation on this. Put Windows Desktop Update. And yes, the only way we're going to get the later, the modern internet, we're going to have to have Service Pack 6. Hold on. Let's see if I can find it. It tells me what Service Pack Winver. Yep, it's Service Pack 6. And I'm going to put a link to all the updates. So you could run Internet Explorer 6 on Windows NT4. I have it in a document. But first we're going to ha keep Internet Explorer 4 first on here. Installed first. 
before you cannot install Internet Explorer 4 on Service Pack 1. You have to have Service Pack 6, which is my recommendations. So you could be able to use the Internet But we'll need to have Internet Explorer 4 first so we can use in before we do anything. And I also installed Guest Edition so we can have a bigger resolution. You may notice that they put the Outlook Express icon. So I'll see you on the next part. Alright, now I got the Internet Explorer 4 working. But you may notice it's very buggy. So, but instead I'm going to be replacing Internet Explorer 4 with Internet Explorer 6 which is at least better than five. That's gonna be with the part of the updates. So I just needed Internet Explorer 4 so I can get Windows Desktop Update. Let's see if I can find it. Uh, but I'm gonna have to install WinRAR. So we're going to go ahead and pull up and we'll drag it to the desktop. And when this media player 7. Because I'm about to put an actual media player on this thing. Right now, I can't because it's extracting some right now. So, what I'm going to be. Let's try that. I'm going to extract two files. Two of my installation. So we get the full installation of Internet Explorer 6 Service Pack 1. While I'm at it, let's install Windows Media Player 7. Yes. So we can have a media player, which is another important thing to Windows. And you'll be able to have the internet in no time with Windows and T4. And I'm replacing that older ver generic media player with a real Windows media player. Then I got to restart. So we can look at certain audio vit files on the internet that require Windows Media Player we can have that version so I'm going to go ahead and pause at this part so I'll see you guys on the next part alright now I got the internet set up got everything fully installed even Windows Media Player 7 and Internet Explorer 6 so let's go ahead and begin you may hear a Windows 95 startup sound because I kinda like that one better so you notice Internet Explorer 6 And show you proof it's Internet Explorer 6 with Service Pack 1. 
This is a st more stale version. And I also got Windows Media Player 7, which would come in handy. Which can come in handy with Internet Explorer 6. You can even use this version on Windows 95. But you cannot use Internet Explorer 6 on Windows 95. You would have to use Internet Explorer 5.5. But you could use Internet Explorer 6 with the following operating systems that are you gotta have Windows NT4 with Service Pack 6, Windows 98 and 98 Second Edition, Windows ME, and Windows 2000 or the only ones that use Internet Explorer 6. So, I hope this video helped you out a bit, how to get your internet set up. So, thanks for watching.